welcome and welcome and thank you so much for joining if this is your first time at one of our events we really appreciate you and we appreciate your time and if you've joined the first two well done it's good to have you back and we hope to see you at the next one so this, as you know, is a Blooming Ladies Corp event. To bloom is to flourish, is to thrive, to be in full beauty, power, or health. That is exactly what we want for our members and for all women to experience in their business and in their personal lives. It was this calling that motivated our founder um, to create an inclusive, supportive community of insight, opportunity, and possibility where women no longer feel alone in their journey and can feel free to work on their passions, bring into life their own dreams and be the best that they can be. We're building a global sisterhood of purpose-driven women who are going after their dreams, going after their passions and making a difference in our world through whatever chosen vocations um, that they take. Blooming Ladies is built on the power of collective effort. We are collaborators and connectors. We educate and inspire this is because we believe very much in the saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We are creating space for you to thrive by providing you with a platform, both online and offline, where you have access to vital inspiration, connection and education required to build a thriving life and business. Blooming ladies, creating space for you to thrive. Welcome again. My name is Dami Ajibade, and I am so excited to be with you all again today. By day, I'm an international tax accountant, and every other second of the day, I'm a mom to two beautiful children, a wife, a self acclaimed foodie. I dream about food, and my favorite kinds of food are those with different textures. I recently had a charcuterie box, and I can't stop talking about it because it was sweet, it was sour, it was soft, it was crunchy. Basically, everything was going on in that box, and I absolutely loved it. But I wouldn't bore you with the details. I will only encourage you to have an open mind towards trying food, which is why I'm so excited about the arepas that Carmen will be making today, but we'll have more on that later. First, we'll go through some housekeeping rules. Please, please, please put yourself on mute to avoid interference and to increase the quality of our collective experience of, of today's meeting. And when you do use the chat room, um, please be respectful, be polite, and be mindful of your language when you're chatting with other guests in, in the chat box. If you have any questions, type them in the chat box and between myself, um, my um, fellow moderators and the guests will do our best to answer them. There would also be a recording of the event. Um, it will be circulated after the show and available for replay for up to a month after today. Finally, be a good friend today. Share the event link. It's not too late for someone to join. Um, it's a lovely Saturday evening and, you know, people may just need a break from just watching TV all day or they may just need something in the background while they're getting dinner ready. Um, feel free, forward the link on and hopefully someone else can learn how to make a rappers. So before I tell you some more about Kamen, I would like to say a big thank you to our sponsors, Gimsap Market Inc. Gimsap, as most of us know, is a family-run business based in Calgary. They're nestled against the foothills of the Rockies and their outlets are open in the north and south central ends of the city for your convenience. The stock beauty products, food items, and spices from West Africa, East Africa, and some parts of South America. Their poultry and seafood section stocks many varieties of delicacies peculiar to these regions. At GameSap, they don't just sell you food and beauty products, they help their customers with that nostalgic home away from home gastronomical experience in Canada. If you haven't um, been to Gimsap, do yourself a favor and go. You can get pretty much almost anything you need there. And like I've said before, it's tricky when you live in a country that is not your own country and you're looking for the food that you're used to eating. It's nice to have a shop like Gimsap just not too far. Um, from most people they can drive to and pick up whatever um, you need. So we are lucky 
um, to have Mrs. Um, Deborah Sonny with us. Um, I don't know if you wanted to say a few words, Ma, before we start. Uh, thank you so much <laughs> for the lovely uh, introduction and thank you everybody for being here today. Uh, just wish all of us a good time together. Thank you so much. Go thank you, Ma. <laughs> thank you so much, Ma, for the sponsorship. And um, if you also want to visit their website, it's very simple. Gimsap, the C-A, that's G-I-M-S-A-P dot C-A to top up on some yummy food from so Carmen, it's so nice to have you here. We're very lucky to have you here. Um, I, for one, I've heard about arepas before, but I've never tasted it. So it will be good to hear more um, about it. Um, I know you're going to show us a, a video, but before we play that video, I'm just going to tell people just a little bit about yourself. Um, you very kindly provided us with your, um, with your bio. So Carmen is a wife and mother to two beautiful children. Well, not children, they're now adults. <laughs> Adriana, who is the youngest, is 30, and Hermes is 32. After earning a degree in geophysics, she entered the energy world to explore her passion for earth sciences, earthquakes, and oil and gas. She worked in this industry for many years while she was based in Caracas in Venezuela, and was part of a team of different projects in Latin America. She now lives in Calgary and has been here for seven years. Carmen has spent two years learning everything there is to know about corporate conferences and the events industry. And she got a certification in events management and business from Bow Valley College. She has successfully pivoted and now likes to create events that bring businesses and people together to interact with. She currently works as a part-time consultant for an overseas company and enjoys being a personal shopper while collaborating with friends in decorating and organizing events. Welcome, Karen. It is a pleasure to have you here with us. And um, if you would like to say a few words, that would be great. Or if you would like to play the video that you've prepared for us, that would be good as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dami, for this uh, beautiful introduction. And I want to uh, share with all of you uh, a very short video about, about our no? to, just to, uh, with the idea that you make a, a, a better idea that, that we're um, going to do today. So, okay. that you enjoy the, the this introduction yeah thank you that was a, a great brief um introduction um come in okay thank you i was just going to say if you could stop sharing your screen now okay. yeah so would you say that arepas are kind of like the equivalent of sandwiches like i know in in the british people with some canadians are like it's in sobs all the time so would that be like what venezuelans go for um usually yeah yeah, it's like a sandwich, yeah. And and we use, uh, um, we eat arepas for breakfast and lunch when I uh, we are eating a good soup. Okay. We accompany the soup with arepa. It's like, it's, uh, like our, our bread. 
Okay, yeah, that, that, that was what I was going to go for that. So the Arepa is kind of I like bread and, I, okay, okay, I'm with you now. Okay, so should we get started? What do we need to uh, make Arepas? Okay, the first thing that I want to show you is the ingredients. So, this is, this is the, the flour. Okay. In a pan, it's a corn, corn flour. Okay. We will need a two cups of this one. Okay. We have a here uh, uh, for the fill, uh, as uh, as I showed you uh, in the video, the fill could be um, any, um, a, a, it's a variety of things. Could be chicken, could be beef, could be uh, vegetables, yeah, eggs, and whatever, no? So okay. here, it's a, it's a chicken, it's red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Onions. Okay. Two tablespoons. Uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. uh, one tablespoon, I think. Um, cilantro. Okay. Perfect. And parsley. Okay. So for most of you who've registered, the recipe was in the um, email you received um, with, with your shopping list. Okay, yes. And uh, this is the avocado. Avocado. Yeah. And mayo. Okay, mayonnaise, okay. So does it have to be mayonnaise or is it something, can you substitute for butter, for example, or is it a preference thing? Yeah, we can use uh, some kind of yogurt or some oh, yogurt. Yeah, less or like sour cream. Fat. Yeah. Okay. But is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. 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 We, we will need a skillet. Okay. And uh, a bowl. A bowl to make the dog. Okay. So I think we can start making the dog. Uh, uh, Greta, I, I will start uh, on um, the oven. What temperature would the oven, should the oven be at? Okay. What's up, what's up? Eight inches by eight inches. What's up? 400. 400. Uh, okay. 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Okay, so I will clean my, my wash my, my hands with. Okay, so you wash your hands first. Yes, because the dough it's made with the hands, basically. It's mixed with the hands. Oh. Make sure to wash them. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure we uh, wash very good. Uh, Okay, so when you're when you're mixing the dough, I know you're going to tell us, and I'm just getting a bit excited and jumping ahead. So, do you use um, warm water, hot water, cold water to mix the um, the corn flour? Okay, we mix slowly. I I can I cannot uh, understand your question. Could you repeat it? Okay, you know what? I'll just watch because I know you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me when you're doing it. Okay, so. Okay. Two, two, two cups of corn flour. Corn flour. So I'm guessing it's like the smooth, the smooth corn flour, not the ones with granules. No. Okay. So how often, how often do you make arepas at home? Almost, almost every day. <laughs> so you're a pro, you can make this in your sleep. Yeah, I have to confess that, that I uh, have a kind of problem to, you know, to describe, to describe the, the, the quantities of the, of the ingredients because, okay. yeah, because I, I used to, to work 
uh, to, to do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. We, we, we understand because in, in Nigeria, we most people don't cook with ingredients. Like they don't have quantity. You just, yeah. as, the, as the spirit leads, really. So we understand. <laughs> yeah. so I am doing with the, with the exact measurements uh, for you to your plan <laughs> and to you, yeah, to play. Thank you. It is very appreciated. <laughs> Water. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Carmen, are you using um water straight from the tap? Is it um cold water? Is it warm water? What kind of water are you using? Uh, some some uh, people use uh, uh, um, warmer cold uh, water. Okay. Cold water. Cold yeah. water. Okay. Gotcha. Cold water. And salt. Salt, gotcha. Okay. And now I think I, I can make mix the. Okay, you're gonna mix with your your yeah. hands. Okay, okay, we can see it now. It's very clean. And we. <laughs> Thank you very much, Adriana. Yeah, it's perfect. You're yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but we study, yeah, she's a, yeah, she's part of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we start, yeah, mixing the water, okay. adding the flour, moving, moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very, it's very obvious you make this very often because your hands just know what to do. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what is the aim? Um, when do you stop doing this? When you feel uh, feel the dough uh, smooth and you, it's, uh, we don't we don't see the, the cracks. Okay, so when everything comes together like smoothly, but in, in English is failing me today, but I think I understand what you mean. If you feel it's so uh, maybe. Hard. If we can use a little more of water, okay. Little. So I'm I'm just gonna call it a, a different word because what this looks like to me right now is a little bit like a bar or gari, like you know when you put water and gari, the kind of I'm assuming it's gonna be a similar texture, maybe, but I may be wrong. If you try this at home, I guess you can confirm it yourself. <laughs> So we left. Uh, oh, yeah. Minutes. Okay. To prepare the skill. To prepare the skill. Okay. In medium, we use medium. Medium hot, and we put. What kind of oil did you put? Is that olive oil or it doesn't matter? This is olive oil, but you can put any oil that you want. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the oven is uh, working and uh, the the skill uh, we 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 uh, can um, we have to wait that the skill uh, take hot. hot yeah it's so hot that the temperature mm. so you don't want it to start smoking but no. just hot enough 
No. Like when you're frying egg, right? Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We spread the oil. Like uh, if you, in the same way when you want to prepare some pancakes. Okay. Oh, pancakes. So the kind of, okay, I understand. Okay. In the meantime, we continue with the dog. Uh huh. I will wash my hands again because I want to get wet. Wet. For okay. Okay. So your hands, your hands should be wet when you're mixing the dough. While you more uh, work with the dough, mm -hmm. uh, it will be the, the the arepa will be better to to clean that after that. Okay. okay. So I guess a little bit similar to bread. Um, the outcome of your bread depends on how much you work the dough. Yes, but the difference that is no. Um, Ferment, ferment, yeast. Uh, yeast. yeast, yes. Definitely. Okay, okay. Yes. So, Adriana, I'm sure you can make this in your sleep as well now, or, or is it just your mom that makes it? We can all make them. Really You're so lucky to be able to learn from her. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, with this um, dough, uh, with this quantity, we can. We can make four arepas. Okay. Okay. So we will separate in order to try to get the same size for Same it. size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we got, you know. Well, I guess if you really, if you really, really want to do the same size, one can weigh it and then you cut base on the weight. You divide that into four. Yeah. This mm -hmm. one that you heard was uh, uh, the oven. The oven is ready. Okay. So we work with the dough, making a bowl. Mm -hmm. Take that pressure in this way. We can use a little uh, a water to, to make the form. Okay. That's the hardest part, making the form. Making the form. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something I've made like this that maybe I tried to make for my. The closest thing I can think of is fish cakes, where you're trying to put the potatoes and the fish together. Yeah, yeah. It looks easy, but it's not very easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> wow, Ready? like a pro. Ready? Yeah. Go to the skillet. Yes. So in the skillet, you make the like the sides. You will. Um, cook the okay, the so kind of like you seal you seal both sides on the heat with the heat. We say uh, the, the faces, yeah, we, we made the faces. Yeah? <laughs> we could, they, they have a, a wonderful golden, golden color. Okay, and come in, we have a question here that says, Are there arepa shapers that we can buy? Really? Like something you can put it in and just like press it together and it's ready. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the you know those burger um shapers? Maybe okay, maybe. so like a bucket, okay. Yeah, and they're back home they sell um like a like Mold? a toaster, like a toaster, but made oh. and okay. they, so you yeah, just put the yeah. balls there yeah. and so I guess kind of similar to like a waffle maker. Yes. yes. But for arepas. Okay, gotcha. Uh, it's a tip, a tip with the construction of the arepa. Uh, when when you not notice that the, there are some fractures <laughs> here, <laughs> <laughs> you take a little water and, uh -huh. and, and you smooth it out. Okay, yeah. Like a molding, like a school yeah. thing. Cool. It's Second arepa. Looks good. She is. I wish I could just stop by your house and get there just in time for it to be ready and then I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> so roughly how long would you say we should, I'll call it toast, 
Roughly how long would you say we should toast it on each side on the skillet? Um, or cook it on each side? Separate, yeah. Uh, how many? Uh, hi. Mm. Like uh, three minutes, maybe. I don't know. Two? Five. Okay. Five, okay. Maybe five. Mm -hmm. So medium heat. Yeah, you can say a uh, touch and try to move it and to move. So it's not ready. Okay. And is it is it one of those things that you, you should make sure you make with a non-stick pan so it doesn't get stuck at the bottom or, um, or it doesn't matter or shouldn't matter? It shouldn't matter. Okay. Uh, we do have a special pan for arepas and with the years, you know, it gets like, uh, like yeah. season or cured. But yeah, it shouldn't matter. Like okay. But it, it doesn't have a room just for four but just only for three. So uh -huh. okay. yeah. that's fine. That's plenty for us to get an idea of how it works. Okay, looks good. <laughs> Starting to smell real good too. <laughs> <laughs> So does Hermes make arepas as well? Hermes, my husband. Sometimes. Oh, no. oh, sorry, I thought your son was Hermes. Oh, sorry, they, they have the same name. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son, he made arepas, but in the, in, um, on the grill, in the, in the grill. barbecue. In the barbecue. Ah. That's such a man, that's a man's way of thinking. It's like, how can I make this easier? I'll just throw it on the grill. <laughs> yes. I really enjoy uh, show you how to make it. Oh. Thank you. I can promise you I will try it for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know where to find the the corn flour? So do you know the funny thing? Because we use corn flour as well, or I should say I use corn flour as well. Um, I but I use mine to make something, make it into a cereal. Okay. Like um, we, we call it ogi or, or pap. So we do use corn flour, but we just use it for different things. But um Tolu has just shared that we can find the pan one um on Amazon. Oh, okay. oh. Wow. I can see the golden brown. Yeah. Yeah. But just for completeness, where do you buy your flour from? Yeah, so here in Calgary, we can find it either at Superstore. Superstore. Yes, yeah, Superstore. Um, in the international aisle? Yes. In yes. the number eight in international food. Aisle. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in any Latin, uh, yeah, Latin store, they'll, yeah, they'll sell it. Okay. I should ask, um, Mrs. Sunny, do you sell uh, corn flour as well? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, so you can get that at Gimsap as well. Thank you. Ma'am. I'm sure you. Okay. So it's, so you just wait until it browns a little bit on one side and then you flip it. Yeah, and um, um, uh, cook. A, a little in the in the face, no? So mm -hmm. we can um, they uh, cook in the in the in totally in the oven, but in the scale, it's just only to to give it some color and and consistency. Okay, okay. So while we wait for that to brown, let's talk a little bit about the filling. So I know you've prepared some chicken and some coriander and so I think it's a cilantro, cilantro as I'm saying cilantro. So are you going to be doing any sort of cooking with the filling as well? Or are the or is the filling good to go? Is the filling is ready to go into the arepa? Yes, no cooking necessary. Okay. We, can, we can use cheese, we can use uh, uh, and anything that way, yeah, give all our imagination to, to fill our arepas. 
I actually have a question for you because I know on the fly it was called Arepa um, Reina Pepe, Pepaida. Yeah. What, what does that mean? Yes, thank you to, to, uh, to remember me that I will talk about the Reina Pepaida. Okay. Yeah, in Spanish is a queen. It's uh -huh. a very, very nice, uh, beautiful queen. And the name of the of the Philly for Arepas was uh, in honor of one of our uh, women, very beautiful from Venezuela, that was uh, the first uh, Venezuelan woman uh, who won the Miss Universe. Miss Universe pageant. Yeah, Miss Universe pageant. Oh, okay. So the first, so the uh, the, the name of the Arepa is, is after the first Venezuelan woman that won Miss Universe. The feeling. The yeah, feeling. The, the feeling was uh, inspired or was created through. Uh, oh, I see the feeling. Okay, okay. Oh, and that's the, interesting. Reina means queen, queen. and Pepeada means uh, beautiful. No, it's like podcast. Yeah. Oh, well, yes, it comes from the polka dot dress. Okay. No? No, that's not, no. <laughs> that's the story it's about, no. it's about, it's about, uh, it's about the beautiful, beautiful uh, lady. But yeah. uh, because I, I, in this time, that was, that was in 1957, uh -huh. uh, this, this queen. And um, in this uh, time, the, the, the men, when they want to say, oh, the woman is very beautiful, say, oh, it's Pepeada. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm so glad I asked that question because when I Googled... Oh, nice. We've got the brown. And yes, all faces. So oh. today, over. Okay. So my question now, I think you've put it on the oven rack. Can we, is it, possible to make it put in it in an oven tray or you it's better to use like a grill rack yes it's better in the, in the rack. okay okay so i will clean this yeah i was saying that i'm actually pleased i asked that question because when i tried to use a um, google translator to figure out what reina pepeira was I saw Queen and I wondered what's, what does Queen have to do with, um, <laughs> with Arepa, but now it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yes, that, that is, uh, you know, uh, Venezuela is in, in, in the tropic and we are very yeah, happy, happy people mm -hmm. and uh, always make fun about, about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So each uh, feeling for Arepa has a name. Has, has a name. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> okay, I will start with the feel. No, this is a avocado. Yes. I will match it. And I can say for like those who are like into eating healthy and into fit farm, this is a healthy dish because I can see some um, chicken breast, I can see some avocado, mostly vegetables, and the bread is made from, or in quotes, the arepa is made with cornmeal. So it, it looks pretty healthy. It's, it's healthy, yes. And it's uh, gluten-free. It's gluten -free. <laughs> it ticks, ticks all the boxes then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you've got the avocado pitted. Oh, I want to add it, but it's cooking. It's a good way. <laughs> so when they're cooked, they'll get a little bit fluffy. Um, okay, so, so it will rise like a, I guess, like pastry. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. This is the avocado I mash it with the fork. fork. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't understand people who don't like avocado. And if you're on here and you don't like avocado, I'm shaking my head at you. 
Avocado is so nice. I love the texture. <laughs> Don't forget the last arepa. Hey. See, it got, it got a little bit burnt. <laughs> it's fine. How else will you know it's homemade? It's good. <laughs> okay. This is avocado, a So the, the story I knew about this feeling was because of that Miss Universe. When she got back to the country, she was wearing like a polka dot uh, dress. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> pepiada also means like polka dot. Like, oh, I see. That's where it comes. Yeah. So like the, the polka dot queen. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. very, yeah. This reina pepiada is the... And uh, arepa was? Have a, a the queen. We had a, a feeling. With... Oh yeah. So here in Calgary, there's a few um, arepa places. Okay. There's a food truck called Arepa Boss. And okay. I think they also have a stand in the Crossroads uh, Farmers Market by Inglewood. Inglewood. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they have like different fillings and like still have the traditional then like fusion stuff and it's yeah. nice. And yeah. The filling is very easy. It's just only to mix all these ingredients. Okay. And just to check, the chicken is the chicken shredded? Yes. It's yes. um what's breast chicken breast? I bought this one already in superstore. Okay. <laughs> She added some mayonnaise to the, to the avocado. avocado. Okay. People use Greek yogurt to make it healthier. <laughs> yeah. And uh, salt. 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 Okay. The chicken. Okay. And cilantro. Onion. Yes. Garlic. Gosh, this looks so easy. You're just going to mix everything together. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. So the, making the arepa is the work. Everything else is just mix it together. Yes, pretty much. Gotcha. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And while we have the arepa queen, Making it, we can ask all the questions we can now. Mm. And I guess how long does the arepa stay in the oven? About 10 minutes? Yes. Ten, ten, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. You can see um, like a, a, a rising, rising, like yes. a boom. And uh, the thing I, I learned from my grandmother is he always tap on it. Tap it no? Okay, so does it, does it make like a hollow sound? Yeah, and the sound gives the yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of traditions. <laughs> I'm very excited and happy to, to share this um, part of my country and, and my family with all of you. It's nice. That's why I was saying that um, Adriana is lucky to have you to, to pass down this tradition to her. Yes. It, it, it is a, it's something that we take for granted sometimes, but it's so beautiful. So while we wait for that to um, get ready, I'm just going to make That's a me. few... I'll make a few um, announcements um, very quickly. Um, please, please, if you have any feedback about how this is run, please drop us an email at info at bloominglatiescoop.ca. Coop is C O O O P. Um, we're doing this for you. If there's something you don't like, if there's something you'd like to see, please um, drop us an email. And if you would like to join as a member, go onto the website. Membership starts counting from August 2021 and um, um, five months free. 
There's going to be an annual general meeting June 5th for members only. And on that call, the members registration form will be shared where you can fill it in pretty quickly. There's also a nomination going on for three board members. If you would like to be a board men member for the Blooming Ladies Co-op, send an email to info at bloomingladiescoop.ca um, to have yourself um, nominated. And um, please watch out for the book club questionnaire, which is on the Facebook group. We're hoping to start a book club very soon. If you're like me and you love to read, please watch out for that questionnaire. It will come around soon. So we're going to come back to Carmen. Do we have the RF is ready or the filling ready yet? The filling, the filling is ready. Okay, looks good. And the arepas is almost ready. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see that the reason a little bit. So it's ready. Let me take this one. Okay. Oh, I can hear that. <laughs> <That's the sound. laughs> this is the sound. This is the sound. So the arepa is ready. Okay. Adriana, it looks like you're so excited. You're going to taste it on behalf of us. <laughs> I'm really excited to eat. <laughs> Okay. You take the arepas uh -huh. and make a hole, a small hole. Yep. It's like a make a, a pocket. Yeah, like a, like a pocket. Pocket, yeah. Okay. So kind of like if you have pita bread, the way you would cut into a pita bread is similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you don't open it fully, so it doesn't. You don't, uh -huh. you don't, pull it, you don't open fully, just only like a, a pocket. Yes. And put it inside. Oh, thing. that looks so good. How much? I don't know, maybe. A lot. A lot. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. I'm, I'm trying not to drool over here. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. Ready to be eaten. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> yes, yeah, like a mini nan. Oh, and that, that didn't take long to make at all. So as long as you already have like your chicken breast ready, everything else is just easy. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's very easy. And I mean, every day you will eat it just with a, this is the second one. Cheese. Uh -huh. The knock test. Yeah. Yeah, you can even put some cheese inside. Oh. With a uh, tortilla, with eggs, scrambled eggs, scramble mm -hmm. eggs, or um, uh, how can you say that in French? The eggs, omelette, oh. omelette with omelettes. Omelet. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you. I honestly, um, I think I need either you or Adriana to have a bite and let us know how good it tastes. So we, <laughs> you, you are only too ready to do that. It's really hard. It's really you, you, hard. De you deserve it. You deserve it for, from being the video lady, like making sure we can see what your mom is doing. <laughs> it's really hard. Let's wait a little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you. Well, before we conclude, I'll just ask you. So I know you shared um, Reina Pepeada with us. What, what other feeling would you pick? Mm -hmm. What other combo? Like this is avocado, chicken, onion, cilantro. Um, Carmen Michal, shredded beef. It's ready. It's ready beef. Okay. Shredded beef or um, eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs. with um, tomatoes. Tomatoes, onions. Okay. Yeah. We made a uh, perico, it's uh, tomato, eggs, and onions. And yeah, this guy uh, uh, is a perfect partner with, for arepas. Yeah, for breakfast, we often eat arepas with perico. Uh, that's like that scrambled eggs and scrambled. cheese. And cheese, a lot of cheese. Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, 
I yeah. am I am gonna make this this weekend. Probably make it tomorrow morning, and then I'll send a photo to to Wumi to to send to you so you can see that I I really made it. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your time and for <laughs> and for sharing. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous, Adriana. <laughs> That yeah. looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. We really, really appreciate it for sharing your culture, for the latest story behind um, Reina Pepeada. That means so lo a lot to us. And um, I don't think we have any other questions. We have people saying thank you as well. So thank you. Thank you so much for your time. And for those who joined, thank you very much for joining. We hope you've learned something. We hope you've learned how to make arepa and, and the feeling is very easy. You can do it in less than an hour, which we can't say for a lot of our food. So if you're looking for a break from jollof rice, looking for a break from pounded yam, give our repa a try. And you can let us know how we went at the next meeting. We're looking forward to hosting you again next uh, month. And a flyer about that should go around um, shortly. As always, if you have any questions, please email us at info at bloomingladiescorp.com. CA is a CA.com. Oh my gosh, I might have gotten that right. But but um Tolus shared it um in the chat box not too long ago. So with that, yes, info at bloomingladiescorp.ca. With that, I say thank you and I say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you. Enjoy, enjoy. Bye, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Bye. 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 Bye.